been given instructions not to start this speech with dearly beloved or unaccustomed <laughs> as I am, so I won't. Um, why are we in this particular place, this particular valley, in this particular <coughs> marquee, tent, some people have been calling it. <laughs> some of it is to do of my love of the Lake District, um, the fact that in this valley, myself and my brother spent many childhood holidays in that particular climbing club and going to church in that little chapel. Um, it's also to do with the fact that, you know, I love the Lake District. Susan, uh, when she has had a hard day, she wants to watch what I shall call non-taxing TV. <laughs> Likes a programme called Don't Tell the Bride. <laughs> if you've never watched it, this is where the groom is given £12,000 and in three weeks told to organise the bride's the whole wedding do. And at some point in the programme, they cut to the prospective bride who says something to the effect, this is my day, this is my big day, what is he doing? <laughs> at that point, I scream at the telly, say, no, 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 it's your day. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with that. But, given that it is the bride's day, here we are, sitting in the grounds of a hotel that I have known since I was nine years old. Up there in the mist somewhere is a mountain called Harrison Stickle, which some friends of mine refer to family mounting <laughs> and uh, it's kind of um, a typical day for me this I'm kind of on an online fell walking club and sometimes I'm referred to as Mr. Mr. Cairns because I have a habit of turning up in places and uh, the rain falls and I must admit um, a few years ago my friend Paul it's Paul Swarbrick over there, over there. He showed me a copy of a 1950-51 Achille Ratti Climbing Club journal, which there was an entry about my father and his walking buddy. Paul is my walking buddy for the last 35 years. In the summer of 1951, apparently, it was rather wet. And every time my father and his walking buddy turned up, a deluge followed. And he was christened, they were christened, the Rainmakers. It appears it's a bit of hereditary genetic <laughs> phenomenon. Never mind, there we are. 